to feel right there, how to smiles. I need you to how to smiles. I'm back with another video. I always try my best not to touch my head too much in this video. First of all, I had to shoot in my kitchen because like my room is my house is close to the room and the cars are like looking crazy noise. Even, like now say so we experience some kind of noise. What I'm about to share is a true life story. Like it happened to me. I thought this thing only happened in movies, honestly. Only 2016 or so I can't really remember shot. Anyways, um so I went to Abuja to visit my aunt. You know that kind of spirit of wanting to just leave your house. I don't know if something was actually fighting me in my house, but any holiday I like to run. I like to jump and move. Then the vibes. So I was in my auntie's place, and like that year, she didn't even allow me to go out. It was always like to church, church back home. Like it was so hard for me to go out. I remember one time I was supposed to go out with my boyfriend because he was in Abuja. I had to lie that. I was going out with a girl first of all. Like she legit collected the girl's number and called her. Shout out to the girl. You know yourself. <laughs> I love you. She was like, where are you guys having the party? What time are you back? What was your name? Where do you stay? In fact, I'm not good with cap. Do you know my auntie said the girl, like my friend should come for her to see her before I'll be able to go out. It was a whole funny situation. I was supposed to spend like two weeks at her place, but was last last. I didn't even want week. I had to run. So I told my mom I was going to my friend's place in Abuja. Then I told my auntie I was going back to church. So now I just taking me to the park. I like thinking, I was like, no, auntie, I have one friend that has a car, like she didn't to the park, you know, but I'm going to work and all of that. I had to really whine her, I had to scope her. She agreed. So I was at my friend's place, like the first day I was so happy. I was so happy that I left the other house, like I'll have freedom here and all that. I'm thinking of the best way to put this thing, but let me just make it straight and direct. She left me in her house and went on a date with my boyfriend. The way I did it, but anyways, my boyfriend, Siri, please play me it is what it is by Adil Kuleko. But it's alright, hold on, hold on, it is what it is. They looked good, they looked good. <laughs> but to be honest, they were actually looking good that day. And I was going to the house, and I remember I was so bored that day. There was no light, so I could not watch TV, no phone was dead. Like, it's okay to follow with people, people go through things, relationship changes, like people are friends, then the next thing they are no longer friends. It's okay to feel like okay, this person is too toxic for me and and I don't want to be part of the whole toxic situation. It's okay to know that yeah, you are the toxic person and you want to leave. That is so fine. It's okay to know that. But what's not okay for me? Is when you now spill people's business just because you guys are no longer friends. Like I find that morally wrong. That that, that shit is creepy. In fact, like it's wickedness. Honestly, I see that wickedness. Because why, why? Why? Like that's the point of our cool, but I'm not just really like that again. I think you guys should comment your words experience with your friend. Then maybe in my next video I'll be reading it out and discussing it. That if you want to share. I'm starting exams like next week, so then might not see me for like two weeks or so. So <sighs> see you guys. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like it, share it.